I just said that um, your 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 body is a temple of God. First Corinthians six nineteen through twenty says, "Do you not know that your body is a temple of God, the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have received from God?" You are not your own. You were brought. At, you were bought at a price. Therefore, honor your honor God with your body. That doesn't just go for sex. That goes for alcohol, drugs, self mutilation, c cutting. Filling yourself with bad foods. Things that are bad for your body. Overindulging. God says, do not take more than what you need. He has given us everything that we need. No more, no less. Yes, there are countries in the world that People are starving. That is not because there's not enough food. That is because there are corrupt governments. And corrupt peoples. There are people that create this harvest. And then the government and groups of people come in and take that food away and, cl and keep it from the people to keep them in bondage the cycle needs to be broken somehow I'd like to talk about addictions patience First thing here is dealing. What I mean by dealing is dealing with struggles in our lives and pain. Things so, for so long go on, so long, and and, so, and it weighs down on our shoulders. We feel like we have the weight of the world on our shoulders and we can't deal with it. And the drugs and alcohol, cutting, um, food, it makes us feel relieved in some way or another. It, it gives us an escape. We don't be patient and trust God with, it, with this time. To do What needs to be done? It seems like these, the, the cutting, the drugs, the, the eating, the alcohol, our addictions. It seems like they're helping us, but they don't. It's just adding another problem that we have to deal with later on, because then we're we are addicted to this thing. It has a hold on our lives, just like the problem that we had, that we got into this to deal with. We got into this problem trying to deal with this one. This problem over here did not go away. It didn't go away. But this problem here, it's there too because of that problem. You're trying to use this to get rid of that. It, it, it didn't do anything. It, that didn't go away. That didn't change. It's still there. But you also have this here now to deal with. Instead of one, you have two. You can either go on and do other bad things trying to clear those up. It's not going to work. So you're sitting there and you're dealing with all this pain and this weight on your shoulders and burdens. And you're thinking, God, God you're not helping me. You don't love me. 
Where are you, God? Where are you? He's right there with you. You may not feel him. He may not be doing anything right now. And he's not doing anything because he knows it's not right the right time to do something. He has his own time. And he knows what's right for us. So we so we have to turn away. Not from God. But from our addictions and our troubles and our problems that's going on. We have to turn away and get in just get rid of the bad that's creating these problems in our lives. You have a bad boyfriend or girlfriend? Dump them. Move on. Move away. You have a bad family life and you're not 18 yet? Just pray. And I pray to you, I pray to you God right now. All those people with a family life that is bad. And they're feeling burdened. I ask you to relieve them of, of, of that burden. Let them know that you're there. And I ask you, God, to guide them when they're ready or and, and can get out of that situation. Guide them where to go and, and, and give them great light and show them your love. And God, just, just love them. Make sure they know that. Make sure that get somewhere where they'll be safe and they know that you're holding them in your arms every day. Amen. If you're in a situation like that, just pray to him. And when you are able to get out, he will get you out of there. He will tell you where to go. You have, but you have to be open. You have to let him in into your soul, into your life. You have to say, God, I love you, and I want you to be in my life. I want you to come into my heart, so I want you to open me up. The Bible, the word lame, means to be broken, to be opened up. I want you to be lame. I want you to be lame for God, so that he can come into you and change you and guide you when it is the right time for you to get out of whatever terrible situation you're in for him to be able to deliver you from all of these problems you have to open your heart, you have to be lame so you have to let him in and be patient and to help you, help you turn away from these, from these addictions and these things that plague your life. Only God knows what's right, and you have to just be patient. You have to have the ability. Put up with problems or pain without complaining or becoming angry. That is patience. You have to let him. Let him come into your life. Be lame. Lay prostrate on the floor. Just lay your body down on the floor. Get down on your knees. Put your hands up in the air and say, God, God, come into my life. Save me. Save me. Ask him to do that. And he will. He'll deliver you from whatever evils are in your life. But you had to be patient. 
And if you don't know how to be patient, ask him to help you be patient. To give you the ability to... I'm sorry. Ask him to give you the ability to put up with any problems or pain without complaining or becoming angry. God, I, God, I ask you tonight for all the people watching this, for you to help them be patient. I ask you to help them with any struggles they have, all the evils, deliver them. Help them become lame and open their hearts to you and follow your word. I ask you to help them with whatever it is they're going through. Give them abil the ability to go through all this, all this pain and problems and, and not become angry. And not complain. And know that everything will work in your time and that everything will be okay and that whatever experiences that you have them go through along the way no matter how hard it will make them stronger for when you're ready to give them light that's what I pray to you tonight God I hope this sermon helped so many people God Amen. God bless all of you. God loves you. I love you. I don't even know you. But I love you. And I can't wait to see you in heaven. Just be patient. Just be patient. I know it's hard to put up with, with the problems and pain. Without going, oh God, Ugh. I'd have to go through this and getting angry at him for doing things, for letting things happen. I know it's hard, but I pray that you will become patient and you will become lame and open yourself so that way we can meet each other in heaven. I'm, I'm so excited to meet you guys. I really am. Thank you for watching this sermon, I really appreciate it. God bless all of you, in Jesus' name, amen.